How would you like it if you could make any microphone wireless? Let's say you have a microphone like this. This is a Shure microphone, a typical Shure microphone, but the issue is you need to have a cable in order to use this microphone. Today, I'll be reviewing Kimafun wireless transceiver system. It's a package that I received today, and it allows you to make any microphone with XLR connection to make that microphone wireless. So if this sounds interesting to you, keep watching and let's unbox this thing so that you can see exactly what you'll be getting. All right, so this is the package that you're going to get when you purchase this. Uh, it's called Kimafun Wireless Transceiver System. So you're getting a sender and a receiver uh, that you can plug into your mixer. Now let's unbox this so that you can see exactly what's on the inside. So when you open the box, uh, there's a nice case here. It's a nice hard case that comes with the product. Also, there is there is a manual as well, a Kimafun manual uh, with some information about the product. Um, yeah, and for the rest, the box is empty. So let's open the case and let's see what's on the inside. And that looks good. Uh, we have a sender and a receiver here. This is the one that you plug onto your microphone. And then also we have the other one that we can put into our mixer. Or if you're on stage, you can put this into the stage. And then we got two extra pieces here. It's a charger here. So this is a USB charger. So Kimafun works uh, with a charging system through USB. As you can see here, this is a USB charger. Uh, and you can charge them both at the same time. So you don't need to have two chargers. Uh, these are two connectors that you can add or uh, that you can put into your uh, receiver and in your sender here. You can simply plug that in uh, to recharge or to charge your devices. And then there is also uh, two antennas in here uh, that you can put onto your receiver and to your sender. So let's open this and let us put this onto both of them. You can simply turn this in here. Um, let's do it like this. So this, this should extend your range. And I'm not sure um, how far the range is. Let me see if I can put this on, yes. So here we have it. It's now connected to, in this case, is the receiver. And then we can do exactly the same thing for the sender as well. Simply uh, put this in. And now your distance, your reach should be further. Now, honestly, I'm not sure what the distance is, but I'm going to do a small distance test today as well uh, so that you can see how it works. So let's put the devices into the mixer and into the microphone. So I'm having my mic here that wasn't wired before. Uh, now we can plug this in here. As you can see here, now my microphone has become wireless. Now I need to put the power on. So there is a power button in here as well. When we press that on, it should go on. And yes, there it is. And it's on channel six. Now we can do the same thing here for the receiver as well. We put the power on and it automatically is at channel six. So let's put this into my mixer and let's see how that goes. So right now what you're hearing is the microphone, the Shure microphone on the wireless system. This is the microphone that it picks up. Uh, the receiver is plugged into my mixer. And right now you're hearing the quality of the wireless system. Now, probably there is a small noise. You can listen to it if this is uh, what you expect from a system like this. Let me be quiet for a few seconds. So this is what you will be hearing or not hearing. Uh, and this is wireless. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that there are also channels on the back of this, uh, no, not on the back of this microphone, in this sender and receiver. You can change channels as well if you like to. So if you don't have a good signal, you can change channels as well. Plus, there's also a phantom power that you can put on or off. So right now, I'm putting the phantom on. 
Yes, right now the fandom is on and probably this sounds a little bit different than when you put the fandom off. So there is uh, an option to put on fandom on the sender. Now what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to unplug um, this part here. I'm going to unplug the wireless system. I'm going to put the wire in so that you can hear the difference uh, between the two. So I'm going to unplug it right now. And this is with the cable. So right now, the cable is in my microphone, as you can see. Uh, and this is when you have it cabled, when your mic is cabled um, yeah, to your mixer. So you can hear the difference yourself. So let me put it back. And now we're back to the wireless system. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a test to see uh, how much distance this microphone has. So what I'm going to do is I'm going downstairs uh, and see if it still picks up the signal. So I'm going to do two tests. And the first test is here right now. I'm in the living room while I was recording this all upstairs. So I have no idea if this is going to pick up the sound, the, the, the signal, yes or no. Uh, but yeah, we can hear that once I go to edit this stuff. So let's walk outside here so that you can see uh, if it picks up the signal outside as well. So you can see how strong the signal is. So right now I'm outside here and uh, hopefully it picks up the signal. And when I turn around here, that there at the top, that's where I have my recording studio. Uh, and yeah, I don't know if it picks up the signal. I hope so, but uh, this is the test for the distance. All right. so. I already listened to the recording and I have to say that I'm pretty impressed by the reach so far. So uh, the receiver was here on my desk and I was recording downstairs in the living room outside with the walls all between and it still picks up the signal pretty good. Um, and yeah, that's what this wireless system uh, is capable of. Again here, this is the product. It's called... Uh, Kimafun wireless transceiver system. And if you like to make your microphone wireless, then check out this system. There's a link in the description below. If you're interested to pick this up, uh, yeah, just click on the link and it will redirect you to the product. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. Uh, hit that notification bell if you'd like to stay updated on future reviews. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.